Hi, this is Real World Audio, and now I'm answering comments, and I would like to read out Pete's comment. I'm looking at my computer screen, and uh, Pete uh, was uh, asking about turntables and cartridges, and he he was saying, uh, sharing about, I am using a, a Denon DL-103 and have a nice GR-75. I want to do up the print, bearing, idler, wheel, etc. My current turntable is an old Japanese uh, Peak CECFR250 idler drive with a grace tone arm. I find some of the older turntables make a great platform. And I really want to comment on it because uh, when you go into uh, turntables, you notice that there is like Lenko Forum and, and Garard and people are, or Torrance, and people are really into uh, older tables or, or like uh, direct drive or idler wheel and, and things like that. And uh, people get really serious. And uh, of course, when you take an older piece of equipment in its shape, it is it usually, usually requires a lot of uh, work on it to, to restore it, to, to bring it up to specs. As, as we would say it with some modern verbiage, uh, but uh, people find them extremely rewarding and much more rewarding uh, than uh, many of the new turntable choices. And what's going on? So what's the re reality behind this? Uh, has the turntable development stopped? And are the new tables not good? Or, or or what's happening there there was something going on with these order turntables that the art was lost today what's the reality on this and and my take on this is that uh, in the older days like when you look at the garard and uh, dual and then these these type of uh, ages then uh, of course all of these companies and torrents they they had to build around the price point so they had their limitations. So, so when you find a table from that era, it's not going to be at the peak of its uh, capacity, but it came with certain limitations to sell it. However, what they did, and this is the crucial bit, is when they voiced their product, they voiced it to sound musical which means to have correct tonality and of course there's distortion in the sound there's problems happening but they created the products in a way that those distortions they do not destroy musicality they do not destroy tonality they do not cause harm in this area so what was their preference is that if there's error happening, if there's a problem, it is at the cost of resolution. So they have compromised resolution. And now with modern turntables, modern approaches, what uh, the manufacturers are doing is they shifted their focus 180 degrees the other direction and now they are focusing to not compromise resolution, to get you the best resolution possible, both in frequency range and both in texture. And, uh, and what they have forgotten and what they also have to do as a compromise is that they are not paying enough attention for the tonality, for the ability of that uh, table to be quote-unquote musical, which means to play music in a way that music sounds and it musical doesn't mean that it's distorted, it's sweet and colored. Like Arthur Salvatore has uh, uses musical in that meaning. So for Arthur Salvatore, if you know his website, highendaudio.com, when he defines musical, it means that he says it's those equipment which color the sound and, and make it mushy and muddy and syrupy and junk. Uh, there are 
products like that, bucket load, but uh, for me, that's not musical. Musicality for me is the ability of a system to reproduce music that registers as music for the brain and not information. And this is where vintage turntables and modern turntables tend to differ, is that vintage turntables give you the perception that you are listening to music, and modern turntables give you the perception that you are receiving information. So there's something different. And you can, this is what you get. But when you are able to tweak it yourself, you modify it, then you uh, change the amount of negativity that comes with it. So if you have an older system, like you have a Lenko, and, and you put your work into it, like you spend like years on the Lenko forum or something like that, and uh, you just build, build, keep on building, then what you will realize, what you can realize with your turntable is to uh, keep the musicality, but also increase resolution. So you can see more into the texture of the music while still keeping the music. And if you come, you can reach there from the modern turntable side as well. So you can get the most modern, maybe not even expensive, or it can be like a super expensive table. And you can modify it in such a way that you, what you are receiving is not just high res information, the analog equivalent of, a, of digital, of high res digital, but it's, it registers as music on the brain. And, and uh, that's my response to all of those questions. And people say that, what turntable shall I choose? What is the best? There is no best. You can start up with either vintage or either super modern. And you have to work on it. And you can make the two meet in the center so that keep the strength of each of these opposites and and just add the strength of the other one to one so i hope this helps everyone at the end i just got a real confusing there but that's it there's no best choice so there's only a starting place and then you have to grow from there and that's happening whether you go with most modern or whether you go with vintage you the two will meet at the top if you do a, a fun good job so thank you for watching please like subscribe have an amazing day bye bye